Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on concept of similarity in physical modeling. So, in the last lecture we talked about the physical modeling uh, principles. Uh, so, as we discussed that uh, there the, the similarity principle uh, or its concept uh, is important uh, to be kept in mind when we are making the physical models uh, which is normally a reduced scale model. And uh, because uh, the uh, model most in most of the cases the system involves the uh, flow of species, flow of the fluid, you have uh, chemical reactions taking place, heat transfer taking place. So, uh, how you know I mean uh, to predict uh, you know uh, properly you need to have the similarity uh, principle uh, you know similarity satisfied. So, so you have uh, as we have seen that for the faithful representation of flow in the model Tundis, there should be constant ratios between corresponding quantities in the model in the actual and in the actual Tundis. So, you will have the uh, you know uh, quantities like you have the velocity or the geometric dimensions or the velocity or the heat transfer values suppose which is there in the actual Tundis and in the model Tundis all uh, needs to have a uh, ratio. So, that is uh, that should be uh, you know maintained uh, for the model and the actual Tundis. So, for melt flow in the Tundis is the states of similarity which we normally include is the uh, geometric similarity, kinematic similarity, dynamic similarity and thermal similarity. So, many a times we call it as a geometric similarity or even mechanical similarity, thermal similarity. Apart from that also we have the chemical similarity that may also be there wherever the chemical reaction is taking place. So, but in, uh, in normal case uh, when we talk about the similarities, we normally talk about geometric, kinematic, dynamic and uh, the uh, thermal similarities. So, we will uh, talk about the similarities. Now, the geometric similarity uh, is uh, you know it tells that the actual Tundis and its model must be geometrically similar. So, uh, when we are making the model Tundis in which the flow has to be there. So, they should be geometrically similar means that uh, the ratio of their uh, geometrical parameters uh, they should remain constant like uh, if you have a uh, uh, Tundis of uh, 3 meter length and if you are making the uh, model Tundis of 1 meter length, it means the ratio of uh, the 2 uh, you know uh, will be uh, you know 3. If you take the ratio of the uh, prototype to the uh, model or if you take the ratio of the model to prototype, it will be uh, less than 1 that is 1 by 3. Now, uh, this uh, 1 by 3 is basically, so it is a 1 is to 3 model. So, we can uh, say like that. So, uh, 1 by 3 will be that skill factor, length skill factor. So, this uh, has to be maintained in all the geometric dimensions like your uh, width also should be uh, accordingly you have to adjust, uh, which should have a ratio of 1 is to 3 similarly for the height also. So, it is telling that, uh, so this is how all the length dimension of the model Tundis should be a, a constant relationship with the uh, corresponding length dimension in the actual Tundis. So, that is how uh, we try to you know represent it like uh, L m uh, will be L p into lambda. So, m refers to the model and p refers to the uh, subs I mean uh, prototype. So, uh, you know lambda will be L m upon L p. So, lambda is known as the scale factor length scale factor 
and uh, uh, you know it is uh, if you are taking a reduced scale model in that case it will be uh, less than 1 if you are going for the scale up model it will be more than 1. So, um, uh, so that way uh, you know in, in most of the cases in uh, Tandis flow or so in the steel making we normally make the uh, reduced scale model. So, the value of uh, lambda will be uh, less than uh, 1. So, if you uh, try to see that you will have suppose in the case of your uh, actual Tandis may be uh, like this. So, you will have uh, in, in this case you have the molten steel here and, uh, and uh, you will have uh, the uh, level of uh, steel suppose here and then inlet is uh, from this side. So, your molten steel is uh, flowing. So, you will have inlet stream from ladle. Now, uh, this is uh, your uh, uh, you know normal uh, you know at, at a normal scale you can have a uh, physical scale. So, you will make suppose uh, uh, about 60 percent or so. So, it will uh, go like uh, this. So, this way you can have a, a physical model here. So, you can have so this this dimension to this. So, this ratio to this ratio dimension or uh, this ratio to this ratio dimension like that. So, that should be a, a constant value that is your. Uh, so, this uh, length by this length or uh, its uh, width or so. So, these values have to be uh, similar. So, you will have this is your model tundis, this is your actual tundis that is your prototype uh, tundis. So, you will have uh, molten steel and here you will have water. So, but the ratio has to be the uh, same. So, that is what uh, uh, is the meaning of the uh, you know geometric similarity. So, similar is uh, on the um, dimensions like you have uh, the diameter uh, in case of suppose your uh, outlet is uh, in a cylindrical uh, you know in the circular uh, type uh, cross section. So, there the diameter will uh, come into picture. Now, uh, the next uh, you know uh, type of uh, similarity next is uh, the kinematic similarity. Now, kinematic similarity will be indicating that each corresponding fluid element in the two system should follow a geometrically similar path and the time interval between the corresponding events should be at a constant ratio that is your uh, uh, you know scale factor. So, that is your uh, you know kinematic similarity. So, then uh, so here they should have the uh, similar you know time interval velocity and all that they will be uh, taking into account in these cases and they should have the uh, you know uh, same uh, value if you talk about the x component velocity ratio or y component velocity ratio or z component velocity ratio. So, there you know you will have a constant ratio. So, that we will be talking about the uh, kinematic uh, similarity. Uh, then comes the uh, dynamic similarity. Now, dynamic similarity will be uh, talking about the forces acting in the two system. So, it will uh, in kinematic similarity we are not talking about the forces. However, in the dynamic similarity we will be uh, talking about the uh, uh, forces. So, it will be dealing with the forces which act in the two system which accelerate or retard the moving element in the system. So, as uh, we talk about any system you will have different kind of forces which will be um, uh, acting inside the system and uh, forces acting at a corresponding time at a corresponding location in a model tundis should be at a fixed ratio with the forces in an actual tundis. So, this will be uh, the dynamics uh, similarity. So, uh, if you talk about uh, the um, different type of uh, forces if you go to the uh, you know dynamic similarity. So, when we uh, talk about the uh, flow in the uh, steel making. So, you will have uh, different normally you have some special uh, you know some common type of forces. So, suppose you have the inertia force. So, inertia force will be uh, normally denoted by F i and it will be uh, rho into uh, v square into l square. So, uh, that is your uh, inertia force and uh, similarly if you uh, 
talk about the uh, viscous force. So, so normally you have uh, the three kind of forces which are uh, you know commonly seen inertia force, viscous force and gravitational force. So, viscous force uh, will be uh, you know F eta. So, we call it as the uh, you know eta into uh, V into L. So, that is your uh, uh, viscous force. Similarly, you have gravitational force. So, gravitational force is uh, the F g and it is defined as the rho uh, g into L cube. So, these are the uh, different forces which are uh, you know commonly you know they, they are uh, coming to the analysis in the case of the uh, flow in the steel making uh, applications like uh, in 10 days or so. So, uh, what we uh, this uh, uh, dynamic similarity condition says that uh, f i of the model or uh, ratio of this f i and ratio of the uh, you know f i of the prototype. So, similar this would be same as the f uh, eta that is viscous force for the model uh, to viscous force of the uh, prototype or the gravitational force of the model to gravitational force of the uh, prototype and there should be uh, some constant that should be lambda f. So, that is for force. So, the similarity condition tells of the for the dynamic similarity it tells that uh, these uh, values uh, should be you know same. So, if you uh, talk about uh, the uh, you know this condition f i m uh, and uh, that of f i p and that should be equal to f i f eta m to f eta p. So, if you uh, you know try to uh, go further into it. So, what you did see is f i m is rho and then you have uh, v square l square and uh, that is uh, uh, for the model. So, if the f i f eta m will be uh, rho v l. So, it will be uh, that is eta v l. So, this is uh, eta v l. So, if you take this for the model it will be same as uh, you know rho v square l square upon eta v l of uh, the prototype. So, from here uh, what you see if you uh, further go uh, you know to from uh, this point. So, what you see you can uh, cut these uh, terms. So, it will be uh, you know uh, rho. Uh, so, this will be coming to uh, a term which you know you must have uh, uh, come across this term that is your uh, uh, Reynolds number term. So, it will be Reynolds number of the model this should be. So, here so we need not go there. So, it will be Reynolds number of the uh, model should be same as the Reynolds number of the prototype. So, uh, this is the ratio of uh, you know uh, basically uh, the two type kind of forces so that tells you the uh, value of the Reynolds number for the model it should be same as the uh, that of the prototype. So, that uh, you know talks about these uh, uh, you know conditions which, uh, which is uh, governed by this dynamic uh, similarity and the Reynolds number which is found in the you know model physical model it should be same as that uh, uh, which is there inside the uh, actual prototype model. Similarly, if you uh, talk about the ratio of the inertial to gravitational force. So, if you go to uh, you know uh, this model of inertial uh, f i inertial uh, force for the model to in a you know inertial force for the prototype and if you take the ratio for the f g i m to f g p. So, they will lead to uh, you know uh, another uh, uh, kind of the non dimensional number. So, what you see here is uh, you get uh, v square by g l of m should be equal to v square by g l it should be for the p. So, uh, you get the another number that is your fraud number and so you get the fraud number for the model should be equal to fraud number for the prototype. So, uh, these conditions uh, emerge out 
uh, you know, uh, when we talk about these, uh, you know, similarity conditions, as you know, especially maintaining the uh, dynamic similarity uh, in the case of uh, uh, fluid flow. So, uh, so if you, uh, so what we see that uh, uh, these conditions need to be checked uh, when we are, uh, you know, further predicting the values. And then we say that it is uh, dynamically similar, the model as well as the uh, prototype is dynamically uh, similar. Then comes the uh, you know thermal similarity. Now, uh, thermal similarity uh, you know uh, uh, is uh, something where we uh, deal with the heat losses. Uh, so, when we uh, talk about the water modeling, so normally in water modeling uh, you know, uh, we, when we do for the turn days. So, uh, with that the heat loss uh, uh, you know which is taking place at uh, um, that high temperature. So, uh, it is very difficult to correlate, but then uh, we will have uh, we can have these thermal similarity and uh, what we can do is here also whatever uh, the temperature difference is there. Suppose, uh, if they are in the same ratio then we can say that uh, the uh, systems are thermally uh, similar. So, uh, the similarity indicates that dictates that corresponding temperature differences should bear the same ratio of the model and the actual turn days. So, uh, suppose uh, at some point you have the temperature in the uh, model turn days and at the same point you have temperature in the uh, you know in the actual turn days. So, if the ratio if you are taking at, at different points they should be similar. So, that is what the thermal similarity means. Uh, thermal similarity also requires that the rates of heat transfer by conduction, convection and radiation at a given location at a given time in the mode in the model should have a constant ratio with the corresponding rate of heat loss in actual turn days. So, uh, similar to the temperature it also applies uh, for the uh, you know heat transfer which is taking place. So, uh, heat transfer which is taking place by the conduction convection or radiation. So, they also uh, should have the uh, you know same ratio as in the case of model or in the case of uh, uh, prototype. So, that is what the uh, you know uh, thermal similarity uh, means. So, uh, we can have the discussion about the uh, similarity criteria by uh, even working with the equations and uh, uh, that is another way of uh, looking at it. So, suppose uh, we are talking about the uh, you know Navier Stokes equation. So, uh, you know I mean there also you can have the uh, you know terms we can go for individual terms and uh, we can have with the help of the dimensionless numbers we uh, do the analysis. So, uh, the Navier-Stokes equation which is normally you can uh, you, you express it as rho dv by dt. So, you see your total derivative uh, term d by dt of v it will be minus of grad p and then you will have uh, eta grad square v and uh, plus you have rho g. So, this is your uh, another term that is uh, uh, the source term. So, now in this case uh, what we do is uh, we uh, non dimensionalize these uh, terms. So, using the non dimensional quantities we are uh, making the V star. So, suppose V star is uh, as V by B or we take X star as X by L. So, the electric length of the uh, turn this you um, further non dimensionalize T star that is uh, T into V by L. So, uh, it will be T with a certain uh, time we are dividing. Then you have uh, P star we define as P minus P naught and uh, divided by rho V square. So, this is how P star is defined. You define uh, grad star as L into grad and uh, then you have uh, uh, so, grad star square term will also come which is here. So, that will be uh, you know L square grad square. So, that way uh, if you use these uh, non dimensional terms. 
So, you know if you substitute these non dimensional uh, numbers into this equation, uh, you get uh, you know the further the term that is d v star upon d t star. So, if you uh, use them you get uh, minus of uh, grad star p star then uh, you are getting a, a term that is eta upon l v rho and uh, then you are getting grad star square uh, and v and then you have another term as g l upon v square. So, uh, what you see uh, in these cases you have uh, uh, you know in this term under the uh, in the parenthesis you have uh, two terms uh, which are uh, uh, coming up and they are basically this is the inverse of the Reynolds number this is eta upon uh, L rho V. So, and, and then uh, you have this is the inverse of the uh, you know fraud number. So, these terms uh, you know are coming and uh, basically uh, you know um, uh, these are the important forces which are governing uh, inside the turn disk. So, this is coming because of these uh, inertial you know uh, gravitational and viscous forces. So, there has to be a uh, constant ratio of uh, these uh, uh, forces. Now, if you uh, imply the uh, inertial forces uh, which should be you know uh, the if you talk about the Reynolds similarity. So, that is why you have the Reynolds similarity as well as the uh, fraud similarity which is uh, uh, coming up and you have to maintain that. So, if you try to you know uh, see the Reynolds similarity. So, in that case uh, you have uh, V L rho upon eta of the uh, model should be V L rho upon the upon eta of the prototype. So, uh, you know uh, what we see that uh, normally the kinematic viscosity of the uh, molten steel and uh, 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 the uh, water at room temperature they are uh, somewhat similar. So, uh, they are uh, somewhat equal. So, eta by so this ratio becomes uh, 1. So, in that case what you uh, get is so your eta by p rho uh, of water at room temperature and that of steel at 1600 degree centigrade. So, they are nearly same. So, uh, what we uh, get out of uh, uh, this uh, uh, similarity principle that uh, this V m and uh, uh, you know this is your uh, V p and similarly this is L m and L p. So, if you uh, lambda eta by lambda rho that will be uh, you know cancelled. So, V m by V p will be L uh, you know p upon L m. So, the basically you will have the inverse of the uh, scale factor. So, what you see is V m will be 1 by lambda of V p that is what you get. get. So, because its uh, ratio will be 1 by lambda that is your uh, geometric scale factor. So, lambda is the length scale factor. So, uh, the, the Reynolds similarity uh, gives you uh, this condition. Now, if you uh, go to the uh, fraud similarity, if you uh, further use the uh, fraud similarity. So, using the uh, fraud similarity, what you see? So, you can further uh, do the uh, same you know uh, uh, calculation. So, you have uh, V square upon G L of the uh, you know model should be equal to V square upon G L of the prototype. Now, from here uh, as G will be uh, same. So, what you see is uh, that uh, V square of uh, V of model by V of uh, um, the prototype. So, basically you will have a square term. So, you will have uh, V m will be V p 
into under root of uh, lambda because it is L m upon L p it is going on this side. So, L m upon uh, L p is lambda. So, V m will be uh, lambda uh, under root lambda times L p. So, that is uh, you can see that this is uh, V m uh, and, and this g term will be cancelling. Now, what you see that uh, you are getting V m and equal to V p under root lambda in this case using the fraud similarity and using the uh, Reynolds similarity you are getting uh, V m as uh, 1 by lambda V p. So, uh, you know you are getting the different uh, values uh, you know different uh, you know proportionality factor in these two cases. Now, if you try to have you know the uh, you know uh, um, uh, that try to ensure that uh, both these uh, uh, you know uh, conditions similarity conditions are satisfied that is only possible when uh, you have lambda that is uh, equal to you know, 1. So, that is uh, you know when you are making the model of the same scale as that of the prototype then only uh, these two can be uh, satisfied. So, uh, you know uh, uh, both these conditions can be only met when uh, you have uh, lambda equal to 1. So, that is your uh, scale factor is 1 itself. So, you are having the model as well as the prototype of the same uh, you know uh, dimension. So, that is of uh, that cannot be uh, you know uh, said to be a feasible solution. So, uh, now in the if you look at this uh, Reynolds similarity. So, in that case uh, what you see is that the velocity of the model. So, when you are making a uh, you know uh, scale down model in that case lambda value is uh, less than 1. So, in that case uh, the 1 by lambda value will be more than 1. So, in that case your velocity in the model has to be more than th that is what it is there in the case of prototype. Whereas, if you take the uh, uh, fraud similarity criteria here the velocity in the model will be uh, less than the velocity in the uh, prototype. So, uh, it is because uh, it is the under root term. So, uh, so, so normally what we use so basically that is uh, this value will be less than 1. So, uh, so that way uh, model will this value will be lesser. So, normally uh, the when we do the physical modeling uh, we do this uh, by uh, assuming the fraud similarity criteria. So, uh, so, that is the uh, normal practice in the case of uh, you know uh, physical uh, modeling. Apart from uh, this as we had discussed that apart from that uh, this uh, uh, geometric similarity, uh, dynamic similarity or kinematic similarity and thermal similarity many a times uh, we also uh, come across the term known as the chemical similarity. So, uh, when we uh, talk about the because uh, many a times these uh, uh, this uh, there are many type of chemical reactions which are uh, taking place. So, you will have uh, to deal with the concentration profiles uh, you know uh, in the full scale system. So, you will have uh, the, the, uh, the the discussion about the chemical uh, you know similarity in which uh, you will be talking about the concentration differences. Uh, you know at the corresponding locations in the model and in the Tandis. So, if you uh, have the concentration difference between two positions in the model certain value and similarly uh, the same value in the Tandis I mean in the actual case in the prototype. So, they should bear uh, you know the same value. So, this may be uh, because of the uh, diffusion you will have the mass transfer taking place you will have uh, the mass transfer by convection maybe by diffusion or uh, maybe many a times you have the generation of the species or, or dissipation there through the chemical reaction. So, these uh, quantities also need to be uh, bearing a certain ratio and uh, that is taken into consideration by taking this chemical similarity uh, condition. So, in this case what we uh, tell is that you have uh, the uh, suppose you are talking about the uh, diffusion. So, and diffusion in the you know uh, model 
and if you talk with take the ratio of uh, uh, diffusion that is in uh, uh, prototype. So, that uh, ratio uh, should be uh, suppose uh, you are uh, talking about uh, the uh, using the convection in the model and uh, ratio by uh, for convection in the prototype. So, similarly, uh, if you are talking about the uh, you know uh, radiation quantity. So, these all these values they should be having a uh, constant value uh, that that ratio should be uh, same. So, this uh, uh, means uh, the uh, there is a chemical similarity. So, these are the uh, you know uh, different uh, kinds of uh, you know uh, uh, similarity principles which are need to be uh, you know uh, uh, addressed into and which uh, must be satisfied when we are talking about the physical modeling and uh, altogether when we talk about the static or dynamic similarity they are also known as the mechanical similarity. So, many a times we talk about uh, the mechanical similarity as a whole. So, uh, these uh, different kind of uh, you know uh, similarities uh, are there which uh, uh, needs to be you know uh, seen and uh, Many a times, uh, this chemical similarity uh, is uh, very difficult to be achieved uh, because of their strong dependence on the temperature. So, uh, so in many cases, it will not be uh, you know uh, feasible to have these uh, similarities. However, uh, uh, you you we must know that what the chemical uh, similarity uh, means. Uh, because when we uh, do the uh, you know suppose we are talking about the chemical similarities in two systems. Now, in those cases the temperature being higher many things uh, you know uh, change by orders of magnitude quite high uh, you know because of the temperature. So, that may not have the similar ratios, but then many parameters may be uh, you know checked like the diffusion. Uh, of certain things which is not temperature dependent or when we do the cold modeling studies. In those cases, the chemical similarity holds certain meaning. So, we will talk about you know other aspects of the physical modeling like use of dimensional numbers or so in our coming lectures. Thank you very much.